Okay, so the subject of today's video is very complex. To say the least, I've got a lot of conflicting feelings about the subject of today's video. The journalistic standards? I nearly had a stroke when I saw that former hard man footballer Joey Barton and Pearl Davis from Just Pearly Things. Listen, Just Lonely Things over here, okay, without her man, okay? <laughs> We're going to appear together on the Piers Morgan Show. What a time to be alive. To discuss whether women should be allowed to commentate on men's football. Now, we all know the answer to that. It's no. But just because I agree with those two, Pearl and with Joey, doesn't mean I think they're coming from a good place. These two people, they are bad people. Poor journalistic standards. Now, what you must understand about Joey Barton before you listen to anything he has to say is that he is a very violent man. Journalistic standards. Joey Barton isn't your typical violent footballer. You know, Roy Keane, a bit over-enthusiastic in the challenge. <laughs> By the way, how cute is uh, Roy Keane in his old age? Well, See, now, do you know what I like at the moment? Hula hoops. I like me hula hoops. Salt and vinegar. He loves his hula hoops and his chocolate biscuits. Never stop scoffing his face, Roy Keane, on the overlap. He's turning into an adorable old granddad. <laughs> I love that show, by the way. Completely unironically, not joking, the overlap is great. Now that they got rid of that woman who contributed nothing at all. City are just unstoppable at the minute. No, but United already beat them this season. Yeah. Whatever her name is, was. No, she's not dead, I don't think. Anyway, the point is, Roy Keane, cute as a button. Joey Barton, on the other hand, is a proper lunatic. He is a psychopath! I love hijack journalistic standards. And I know what you're all screaming at your smart devices now. Ad hominem! I'm attacking Joey Barton's character and shady past, not what he's actually saying. But that is what the Daniel Boland Show is all about. Who's Daniel Boland? We care about people's motives for saying something. We don't care if they're right or wrong. You won't find any objectivity here. I hate people being objective all the time. Eh? How about some subjectivity for once? It's about credibility and journalistic standards. Gone are the days when Joey Barton would stub cigars out on youth team members' faces and beat black teammates to within an inch of their lives. You're coming for high journalistic standards. So finally, at 41 years of age, after decades of therapy and with his declining testosterone levels, Joey is finally able to channel his aggression and he's laser focused on eliminating women from men's football commentary. Or as he calls it, poor journalistic standards. Are you a homo? Yeah. Don't get me wrong, it's a noble cause. But forgive me if I'm a little bit skeptical about his motives. It all began with a post saying, women shouldn't be talking with any kind of authority in the men's game. Come on, let's be serious. It's a totally different game. I cannot take a thing they say seriously in the men's arena. Well, since then, he's been called a sexist, misogynist dinosaur. Is that supposed to be some kind of deterrent? I'd love it if people were calling me a sexy dinosaur. But is he saying out loud what some men, maybe many men, are thinking as well? No, a thousand times, no. Take me back to the initial post that you put up on Twitter. Clearly inflammatory, but that's your way. Did you expect the reaction that you were going to get? Well, certainly I've seen in, in my game where, you know, I, I do feel, peers, I have enough credibility to say I'm, I'm probably a bona fide um, expert. <laughs> it's kind of tokenism creeping in, especially when it comes to, you know, it's ruining, certainly it's ruining my experience of, of both the game and obviously the, the journalistic standards. Yes, that's right, Joey. It's about journalistic standards. That's why Phil Neville and Mike Owen rose straight to the top. Sorry about that, folks. Just a bit too low. The shatterproof glass came in handy, but I don't think Sam's going to be too pleased with us getting in the way of his drive. Good thing he has that great Scottish sense of humour. Show some fucking respect. So, sorry for the language. I mean, what, what is your particular complaint? Is it that women have not played the game to the highest level and therefore they're not qualified to talk about it? Piers, look, I, I'm against tokenism and, and I'm against um, you know poor journalistic standards especially when it comes to the game I love which is football you know, I know it's everyone's game you know but there's two two slightly different uh, variants obviously the men's game and the, and the women's game and all of a sudden if you speak out in favor of uh, you know 
saying a men's game, people come to you and, you know, I'm getting accused of being right wing because... Right wing? Oh, God forbid. Now, I'm only going to say this once on this channel, but I am going to say it. People of Liverpool, Margaret Thatcher hasn't been Prime Minister since 1990. Uh, she's been dead since 2013, 10 years. It's time you got over the 1980s! As I've, I've said, what clearly a lot of people are thinking about the journalistic standards of some of the, you know, female commentary uh, and co-coms and punditry that, that I'm seeing um, in the game that I feel, as I say, I, I think I'm a bona fide expert in. Look, I watch a lot of these highlights programmes that Joe is talking about, and yes, often he's got a point about the, the, the feeling that it's tokenism, right? That often there's a woman there on the panel giving her opinion, and us men, we're just rolling our eyes inwardly uh, when the woman starts talking. We're just waiting for her to finish so we can hear about how Michael Owen scored a goal in the 98 World Cup. Oh, that was good, you know? I'm sorry, yeah, it probably is a bit sexist. It, it's probably very sexist. Uh, but the thing is, you can't do what Joey Barton's here with his, you know, intellectual glasses that he's got now. We all remember you putting out cigars on the youth team members <laughs> and battering us mean Darbo to within an inch of his life. But you can't you can't keep fighting the battle on journalistic standards and then talking about how the men's game is so much more physical than the women's game, which he does as well. It's not about that. It's just yeah, maybe the men just want something for themselves. We don't want the women there. That's our thing. It's the men's game. We want men talking about it. We want to see ex-footballers. I, as a football fan, I prefer to see an ex-footballer that I remember watching when I was a kid talking about something. Even if they're rubbish at the job, I prefer to see that than some woman I've never heard of. I don't like the male journos that come on these programs that would, you know, have nothing to do with football. I hate them as well. I don't hate them. I just, <laughs> I don't want to listen to them. Anyway, let's move on. Let's listen to what the broads have to say. Hey, Piers got some broads on the show. Fucking hell, let's give them a listen. Well, I've got some women here who would like to respond. Great. Uh, and they are uh, Bianca Westwood, who was the first ever female football reporter for Soccer Saturday. Uh, Pearl Davis is a YouTubing anti-feminist. Listen, just lonely things over here, okay, without her man, okay? And Kate Balsay is a co-founder and presenter of the Offside Rule. Let me start with you, Bianca. I'd imagine that you were going slightly nuts as you heard that, but maybe I, I, I don't want to speak for you. What is your response? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, usually I wouldn't give those kinds of opinions any particular credence, but the way in which he tweeted, especially calling out the young girl, the vlogger from Manchester City, I just thought it was out of order. Our tonight's Champions League group stage game against Leipzig. Now, when we were over in Leipzig at the beginning of this campaign, we beat them 3-1, so it is already 3-1 on aggregate. And 3-1 on aggregate. It was a group stage game. There is no aggregate. <laughs> I take it all back, baby kangaroo Barton. Joey Jojo! Because I've been on the, the wrong end of dog's abuse when I very first started reporting. And it, 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 it didn't sit well with me. This is a young girl. She's on social media. She's not presenting Newsnight. And she never will be. Thanks, patriarchy. She's not saying she's an expert in football. She's there because... Viewers of football are changing. We're getting more streamers, we're getting more influencers, and, and that's, that's a different argument entirely. So that's particularly the reason why I didn't like what he said. But who is qualified to speak on football then? Because, you know, the laws are the same. I can read a game of football. Emma Hayes, Serena Wiegmann can both read games of football. Are you saying that they can't provide insight? It sounds to me like Joey's got a problem with particular female pundits who to his knowledge haven't done enough in the game but how does he know and and how do, do we quantify and qualify that because there are efl players who are commenting co-coms being pundits on champions league games what level do you have okay. to get to before you're allowed as far as joey barton is concerned to be able to be a pundit on the men's game Bianca is making some absolutely solid points, and uh, I can't actually argue with them. Uh, that's why you'll never catch me on the Piers Morgan show. That's the only reason, uh, because I'm not willing to defend my 
uh, points of view in public. All right, I'll do it from the safety of my own home with nobody uh, holding me up to any scrutiny. Thank you very much. Uh, <laughs> I, I, it's just, she's right. But at the end of the day, it comes down to taste. And uh, I, you know, I've got to say, sometimes I do see these women on these shows. And uh, I'm not a massive fan, all right? Uh, does that make me a massive misogynist? Maybe it does. I'm trying to do better. Kate, what is your response to Joey Barton? I think it's really clear that Joey doesn't appreciate that women can study journalism too and they can study sports journalism. Yeah, yeah, women can study sports journalism and all these opportunities and stuff, which is all very well and good. But why did they take away home ec? Loads of women sports journalists uh, at the job centre now. Very few with rudimentary cooking and embroidery skills. Is that a net positive for society? I, I don't know. Really not for me to say. And if you're Bianca Westwood, you can watch thousands of hours of football and commentate and report into a Sky Sports studio as she did for decades on the men's game and be very informed. There has to be something more to this, I think. Shut up, bitch! I'm joking, I'm joking. She made some really good points as well. I, I, I don't think there is any argument that stands up to the points that these two women are making. Pearl thinks otherwise. Pearl Davis, Pearly Whirly, just lonely things. Pearl, I can see you uh, rolling your eyes there. You clearly don't agree. Well, I keep seeing women given special handouts and special treatment. I'm seeing the same thing that he's seeing. You know, um, one thing you didn't put in, in my bio is I'm, I'm actually a semi-pro athlete. I've been involved in athletics for 20 years. Um, and no, men and women's sports are not the same. Men jump higher. They run faster. So I, I see where he's coming from. When I was listening to him talk, he was talking about the best person for the job should be the one that gets it. I, I didn't see anything wrong with what he said. Well, wow. you said today, uh, I stand by everything I've said on women commenting and co-coms on the men's football, like me talking about knitting or netball, way out of my comfort zone. Uh, we've gone too far. You can't watch a game now without hearing the nonsense. Any man who says otherwise is an absolute fart parcel. Good, yeah, fart parcel. He's also been referring to men who disagree with him on Twitter in a few of his tweets that I've seen as uh, as eunuchs, <laughs> which I enjoyed. You know, you're going some way to redeeming your dark past with your equally dark uh, sense of humour, Joey. He's I changing his mind. He's That's changing his mind saying. all the time. Have you got a problem with the journalistic being a, being coverage or have you got a problem with player, the playing of the game? Please don't all talk over each other, Bianca. Me, you're just shouting at me, I can't hear you. Being a this top player a doesn't mean Let's you're going to be a top conversation. Pundit. This is becoming a farce. I don't know if I love Joey Barton or despise him after all of that. Uh, but then again, do I have to? Is it either or? Is it black or white? No. Does it matter if you're black or white? No. So uh, anyway, yeah, I guess uh, I guess we'll leave that video there for today. I'll uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. It's Thanksgiving today, and this is my daughter. I want you to say thank you to me. Say thank you. Thank you. She's saying thank you because today I smashed her. Smashed her.